Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and since it is the end of the season, and like two days left as you can see in the top of my screen, I thought I'd go over a replay in preparations for next season and the coming seasons, right? I'm trying to hit SSL, so the best way for that is to go over my replays, and I thought I'd share some insight on how I go over my own replays so you guys can go over your own replays and help you improve. So yeah, let's get into the replay, and I'll see you guys there. This replay is a win, luckily, for my team, and I want to go over... I would go over a loss, but the, the loss that <laughs> happened before this game, I know why we lost. So, I want to go over this game and kind of show you guys, like, what I look for, and if you guys don't go over your own replays, go over your own replays. That's how you improve the best, besides ones, of course, but who wants to play ranked ones? So, let's get this... let's get this going. Got kickoff. I don't know why my game sound is so low. I'm sorry about that. There we go. I don't know if that's too loud. Maybe that's too loud. Let me put this down here. There we go. So that's more audible for you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna go over this replay. Right here, I'm waiting for the ball. Went from the give up possession. Show me that he doesn't have a hit anymore could be peak so i will pause i will pause preemptively or not preemptively but throughout the replay just to show you like little instances of like things that i could have gone better in like depending on the situation right i could have done better done something better done something worse stuff like that so right here i think i'm fine the whole thing i might put this in this thing right here is and especially in higher level, right? I'm not the highest level. I'm not going to claim I'm the highest level in this game. But right here, if we look at this from a sky, like a sky angle, you can see that my teammate's doing something on the play. Their first man is committed. He's doing his job. Their second man is ready for something. He's doing his job. And me as our team's second man, I'm doing my job and preparing for anything coming at the ball pretty straight so if this ball like goes this way like straight down the field straight i guess straight down the middle uh then i'm gonna have a more tough of an more <laughs> more presence will have to be defensive but since it goes to the side i'm able to make my turn on the ball because their second now first man isn't able to go for the ball and i just stall enough time so that my second can rotate or do whatever is needed that's pretty much it now here, I'm playing a, a deep second, so my rotation isn't on the ball. And, like, I would say an on-the-ball rotation, like, rotating out would be cutting through the middle, which is also a good idea uh, to do, especially if, let's say, let's say I cut through the middle here, or, like, go grab this pad, this pad, and then, like, turn in just in case there's an offensive play. The reason I do this is I think my teammate's going to be beat to the ball, because... Who wouldn't think their team is going to be beat to the ball right here in this situation? But luckily he isn't, so that's why I turn back up the field to aid him in uh, more offensive measures. He does get beat on the second hit. I mess up my area a little bit. Still try to keep it in the play, though. So I go back here. I'm going to pressure myself middle. Show an option, because should be there if you're second man, to be honest. I go here, grab this coin boost, because I think Scarce is going to go for our corner i play slow here grab that boost now i look for a demo get the demo my teammates beat so i just stall like i can't make a shot so i can turn the ball here and i i use my right stick right i'm not touching my controller right now i use my right stick to look up to see where my teammate is and if he can get the demo since i hit this ball so fast and i didn't control it right away because i have to speed up so i don't get demoed and can push the ball uh, forward so the guy behind me can't get the ball or me i'm looking to see where my teammate is and i'm trying to see where the defender is and i get it past him luckily kind of went through him on the replay went through at like the defender on the replay so we'll take that but we're at 1-0 now now our main goal up 1-0 or up 2-0 is to play as defensive as possible not defensive but to play as safe as possible and try to secure that lead by adding tallying up goals or just not letting any in, right? 
So I grab this pad, try to... What I'm doing here is trying to block the pass. If this pass goes uh, mid, I don't know why I'm, I'm waving my hand as if you guys can see what I'm pointing at. <laughs> but anything to the right side of my screen here, uh, I'm trying to block the pass and like defend a shot if possible if it goes to the uh, far post where my car is going to be or was pointed at initially before I made that turn. I made this turn to get the bump to slow their second man down just in case to make a beat him. And it gives me an opportunity to shoot on a bonnet. Boom. So far, we're playing pretty decent. Pretty good, I'd say. Now, kickoff. Normal kickoff. This goes above. I missed that pad, so I couldn't turn earlier. But I turned just in time. Tried to force that guy up. He took my boost. I'm playing low boost right now. I'm trying to keep my momentum up and grab pads. Perfect timing. Teammate gets there anyways. It doesn't really matter. If the ball went to the corner or went across. It's better if it went across with my teammate. Luckily, I didn't bump him there. Or enough to mess him up completely. And so he can take it into open space and create issues there. Right here, I'm waiting to see if he touches it. I can grab his boost. I can be the first one to challenge. The reason I take not so long there. Not so long here. But enough time to like line up the ball is because I'm trying to stall enough time for my teammate to be back and like block the pass. Where you see him at the bottom right side of my screen near my boost, I realize that if this ball goes mid, he's there for an interruption play. Maybe not the save, but an interruption. So then I go for the ball because he's brought it close enough to me where I can challenge safely. And I flip and continue on the ball. Right here, if I was playing more, I was, I was playing pretty confident last night. But if I was playing it more serious, I'd maybe wave, wave dash on the wall here just to keep up my momentum and just drive on the wall. Because by going down here, I give him an option to hit it over me. Right, I'm going for the demo. Try to back off. Teammate's taking it back so we have time to recuperate. And I get in a position to, just in case he misses, right? Just in case, I can go for the ball. And I can beat Scarce to it. But Scarce has to go up. Teammate's beat, or beats him. So, I'm not worried. I chow here because, as I said, I'm feeling it. Trying to create an issue there for Aang, or not Aang, but Mr. Bang over there. Try to scare scares, <laughs> scare scares with a, a a demo. But right here, I completely mess up my play. I originally thought it was going to bounce, which is why I took the uh, the ball came off here because I was trying to see where scarce was. As you can see, the very right side of the screen, I was trying to look where for where scarce was, but it didn't do the bounce. So I was like, uh oh. This is where you can see me boost and turn because I thought I had to get in a defensive position and get ready for the shot on the back wall, but luckily it didn't. Right here I'm playing close just to see where that 50 goes. Luckily Scarce misses. I can get a 50 with bang. And I can turn here. I kind of turn wide. Right here it's a it's fine. This This one is a toss up here. You really can't do much about this. You can only hope the 50 goes well. And that he misses. Right here I turn perfectly in time. I grab the boost. That I actually fine turn. But right here I would have jumped. Scarce was already up so I don't need to waste my boost. Best Ben can do here is shoot the ball. So I'm confident enough in net to where that's not going to go in. I grab the boost before Ben can and turn. Look to see where it passes. I try to get this backboard and fast enough. But you know he's there. My boost was stolen, so I have to go for the mid boost or pads. But I turn on the ball, turn on the play. I tried to be second man there. Like, uh, for you guys that don't know, uh, if you're usually second to the ball, has a higher likely chance of winning the 50. So right here, I tried to time it to where Bang might flip, but I flipped before him because my jump timer was near its end. So I thought I might as well flip into it. It's not the best decision. But can we, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this little instance into s slow motion here because 5% even. Solid contact, slows my momentum. I try to drive wide. As you can see, insta turn my camera because I can't believe he's not dead. <laughs> but back to 100, I try to turn, try to create an issue and like be aggro on Mr. Bang here. But right here, I should have challenged. This turn right here... Is very bad. I try to grab the boost. Teammate flips. The reason I didn't challenge initially 
is because my teammate flips her mid and I'm the last one back and I'm trying to not play a 2v1. So if I was smart here, I challenge this. I only run the risk of a flip or a 50. But since since he has the ball on the top of his car, he's probably looking for a flick, which is why I didn't challenge. I tried to make him drop the ball, like go for a low 50. Because usually if you're the grounded player and you go for a 50 against someone who's higher, you usually win it. I was expecting him to do that, but he didn't do it. So it left me in a bad 2v1 situation. I thought Scarce was going to go for the demo there. And he just flips it over me. If I were to play this a little bit better, I would have chowed uh, pretty much right here. Right here, I should have went. Or I should have went back wall here. Either or. Two options, right? Smart, chow early. If I played more defensive, go back wall and prepare for the shot. But then he probably would have taken it low, right? Offense has a lot of options. Look for that pad. I couldn't. I tried to just get a shot on that, do something. I think it exactly on that. I was prepared for my death there, I'm going to be honest. I probably should have went for the demo here, clear up space, but I didn't want to risk my position and bang just, you know, backflip challenge on the ball. And uh, beat both of us. Scaring a demo. Scares goes up, teammate beats him. I try to play mid. He does get it to me, but I thought Bang was going to grab grab that little touch away from me. So I went back. Scarce just passes the ball to me. And this is why possession is such a key thing in twos. Ones, twos, threes, whatever. You don't want to just give away possession. Right here, I kind of give it away. Because I'm not up to it first, right? Bang's going to be up to it first. Went through teammate, I guess. Didn't even realize that. But right here, I'm playing 25 boosts. Also, why pads are MVPs of this game. Should I grab boost? I look away because I, I was hoping my teammate could touch it. I flip here early because I'm trying to make him get rid of the ball and I can hear my teammate behind me. So I try to make him get rid of it, give it to my teammate. Grab the mid boost. Boost to a defensive position where I can help out my teammate on defense. I go mid. I get into a spot where I can challenge, or at least be a menace. I tried to get down and get a demo so it can be a goal, but I didn't. I tried to time that boost as well, I didn't get that boost. Teammate luckily gets a good touch. I thought he was going to play mid, he did, and boom. Unfortunate touch for Bang here, but... Perfect placement for us, and I actually scored the open net for once. And that's a win. But going back to, and the main thing about this replay is like decision making and when to make your decisions. If someone beats you in the air, like if we go for a, uh, where's a save somewhere? I think this was a save, right? Yeah, this is a save. I've seen like diamonds and plats and champs sometimes go up for this ball, like where I'm on the back ball and they're in bangs position, but they're a little bit closer because I think they're going to miss, right? In each independent rank, a different situation is going to happen. This is not a universal thing of someone being able to hit the ball and clearing it. I understand that. But if someone is back wall, a confident enough and competent enough player should be able to hit this ball. Right. And I'm not trying to diss anyone, diss any rank. Because I've missed that ball before, right? Everyone has to miss it to be able to hit it, right? So this ball gets passed to me because, you know, I'm the second man back. And if you're in Banks' position, he's doing a smart thing. He's going to where the ball is going to be, right? And that's the key thing about positioning is being where the ball is going to be or is to where it can benefit your team. He doesn't get the best touch goes through my teammate's car and I have to not panic but I have to be more careful with it right and then the ball gets cleared but essentially if you see your opponent in a place where and you it's fine if you can't see them and you jump because that's just game awareness and you should be able to at a certain point in your game time like I have like roughly 4k hours on this game so I have a little more game sense than the people that don't have 4k hours. 
But what makes up for that is more time in the game, right? If you don't have the game sense, put more time into the game. Watch replays, watch pro replays, watch that silly little thing called RLCS we have. There's a YouTube channel called, uh, I think it's Rocket League Pro Replays. They have Zen Replays, Vatira. Whoever a pro is, they have the replays for that. If you're on PC, there's a site called vaultchasing.com. It houses every a lot of replays. If you look up your name and there's a replay of it, all you have to do is download it, insert it into your files, and you'll be able to rewatch that replay, right? If you're on console, as I said, the YouTube channel of uh, Pro Replays, whatever it's called, or going over your own and looking for those mistakes, right? I'm at a point in the game where I can notice my mistakes and I'll be try to being try to fix them. And it really helps earlier on if you're able to notice your 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 mistakes and fix them before they become bad habits. Because I've made a lot of bad habits over the game and it's taken. A lot longer to fix the bad habits than it is to see a mistake and fix that right this challenge right here like for example like me not being able to get the demo there it just shouldn't have been a goal anyways because the demo just didn't happen but right here this is just a this is just a decision making issue that i had and that's just a mistake right I'll be in this situation again, and I won't make them as this mistake of not challenging the ball. I will go for the ball next time in this situation because I've learned from this mistake of getting scored on that it won't happen again. But if it's a bad habit, I will constantly be in this position and I won't go for it, right? That's what a bad habit is. If the smart thing is to go for the ball and I'm not going for it, that's a bad habit, if that makes sense. But if it's something like this mistake of, I should have just challenged that ball instead of turning, oh well, just don't turn next time, right? But if I'm constantly in this uh, situation and I don't challenge, that's a bad habit, if that makes sense. A lot of repetition of not doing the right thing is, in my mind, a bad habit, which is why there's a lot of bad habits for a lot of players, right? But it's up to you to look at your mistakes or your bad habits in your replays Realize how to fix them, make a plan to fix them, and you can, I'd say in my mind, easily become a better player. So, with that being said, I got my decision making to work on, and I got my positioning to work on. Those are two things that I need to work on. Just based on this replay, I was out of position a few times, and I just made a bad decision, bad decision that I won't make that mistake again, right? But go to your own replay, download replays if you're able to do that, and I hope you all find a way to get better at the game like uh, I am. But uh, good luck everyone in their next season. As of this video coming out, tomorrow I will be live for the last day of the season. I'll be streaming on uh, Twitch, always linked in the description. So if you want to see me try to get SSL there, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.